Good morning. I'm State Representative Amy Ellick from the 111th District. I represent portions of Madison and Jersey counties. I stand here today just as frustrated as every person in the state of Illinois and every family that is outraged with the rising cost of gasoline and many other items we purchase on a day-to-day -day basis. The citizens we represent in Illinois are feeling the impact of inflation and they are looking for some relief from their elected leaders. Inflation is not just a problem in the U.S., it's also a problem throughout the world. However, the cost to live in Illinois for families is one of the highest in the nation. Across the river from my district is St. Louis. It is not uncommon to see gas prices in Missouri anywhere from 50 cents to 70 cents a gallon cheaper than in Illinois on a given day. The high cost of inflation in Illinois and across the nation has resulted in an increase in groceries and many other goods purchased. Illinois families are feeling the day-to-day -day pain in their pocketbook. Inflation is the highest it has been in 40 years since 1982. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics report just six days ago, the consumer price index over the last 12 months has increased 7.9%. Increases in the indexes for gasoline, shelter, and food were the largest contributors to the seasonally adjusted all items increased over the last year. The cost of eating food at home has risen 8.6% since last year. It costs nearly 7% to eat more at a restaurant. Clothing costs 6.6% more. Owning a home, renting a home, and paying for a hotel is up 4.7% over the last year. And used cars are up 41.2% compared to new cars at 12.4%. I could go on and on. Illinois families are paying higher prices everywhere they shop in the state. They are even paying the second highest property taxes in the nation. Illinoisans are paying more and more while state government continues to tax everything politicians can get their hands on. I stand here today with my colleagues to urge the Democrat leadership in the General Assembly to stand with us to provide relief to every taxpayer and family in the state of Illinois. Immediate relief can start today. Inflation is at an all-time high. Now is the time for our taxes to be reduced. Hi, I'm State Representative Patrick Windhorst. Uh, the 118th district, which is all or parts of the southernmost 11 counties. I represent a district that borders Kentucky, Indiana, and Missouri. The bridge from my hometown of Metropolis crosses the Ohio River into Paducah, Kentucky. On Friday last week, gasoline was 72 cents cheaper in Missouri and 51 cents cheaper in Kentucky than in Illinois on average. Yesterday, at Sam's Club in Paducah, Motorists could buy a gallon of gas for $3.78 at Murphy Express. It was $3.85 at Murphy USA. It was $3.87, and at the Paducah BP, it was $3.88. Just across the river, here in Illinois, in Metropolis, the Metropolis Marathon, gas was selling for $4.49. Other gas stations had gas at $4.59. According to the American Petroleum Industry, we were paying 78 cents in taxes per gallon in January of 2021. That number ranked second highest behind only California, taking into consideration our state's combined motor fuel tax, sales tax, and federal taxes on gasoline. Residents of Illinois are heading across the border to Kentucky, Indiana, and Missouri, not just to buy gas, but to buy other products as well. Our combined sales tax, property tax, and income taxes, and fuel taxes are consistently ranked as the highest in the nation. Inflation is hitting record 40-year highs every single month. Middle-class families and hard-working people are being squeezed at the gas pump and at the grocery store. It is easy to point out the problems, as every member standing with me today has heard from their constituents who are struggling to make ends meet. The question is, what are we going to do about it? I have filed legislation, HB 5481, that would suspend the sales tax on motor fuel when the rate of inflation measured by the Consumer Price Index is more than 3% over the previous 12-month period. I am also co-sponsoring legislation, House Bill 5723, along with Leader Mark Batnick, represent, Representatives Paul Jacobs, and Dan Swanson, that would freeze the rate of sales tax for motor fuel at $0.18 cents per gallon of gas. 
My colleagues and I have all sponsored legislation that would freeze, suspend, or outright reduce property taxes, various sales taxes, income tax, and these fuel taxes over the course of this General Assembly. None of our proposals have been brought for even a subject matter hearing by the Democrats. The lack of action by the Democratic majority on this issue of inflation and high gas prices is inexcusable and is why I'm standing here today with my colleagues. The families we represent deserve better. And we can take action as a state to help ease the burden they are facing every time they fill up their gas tank or buy groceries at the grocery store. I will now turn it over to Representative Mark Luft. Good morning. I'm State Representative Mark Luft of the 91st District, and I'm also the mayor of the city of Pekin. When gas prices go up the way they have in the past few weeks, it has a serious and direct effect on municipal governments. Anyone who commutes to work already knows what kind of impact the high prices have. But imagine if your job involved driving for a substantial portion of the day. That's what our police officers on patrol do and our firefighters answering calls. That's also true for our public work crews who were plowing snow a few weeks ago and who are now out fixing potholes and doing other maintenance to keep our roads safe. If we're having to pay twice as much for gas or close to it, it cuts into funds available for every other service the city can provide. Our options are limited because we're getting close to the end of our fiscal year. Much of our fuel budget has already been used up. We work really hard during the year to put a budget together. And now at this particular stage, uh, it's going to take a lot of work to um, reappropriate those funds. Every mayor in Illinois is having to look at these numbers and make tough choices. Do we cut services? Do we raise taxes? I don't think the people in my town would be too happy if I told them we were going to make up the difference by cutting back on police patrols or cutting back on fixing our streets. How do we meet the needs of our communities when the cost of meeting those needs goes up so much so quickly? Again, I stand here with my colleagues for answers and resolves to this situation. And now I'd like to turn it over to Representative Tom Demmer. Hi, good morning. I'm State Representative Tom Demmer from Dixon. We stand here today with a very straightforward purpose, to prioritize relief for Illinois families. All through this discussion, and you've heard some very uh, eye-popping numbers today, and you feel those same numbers when you go to the gas station or when you go to the grocery store. We all do. We need to have a priority to deliver from the state, to deliver uh, relief, economic relief, financial relief to Illinois taxpayers and Illinois families. In the face of these rising prices, people have to make their own shifts in priorities. Sometimes they have to make tough choices at home about paying one bill or paying another bill. Sometimes they have to uh, say no to certain opportunities that might come up because of the rising costs of nearly everything in their lives. As we consider the state's budget process, as we consider where the state's prioritizing our dollars and our investments, we need to think long and hard about what we can do to deliver meaningful relief to Illinois families in the face of unprecedented uh, growth uh, in inflation and unprecedented price increases on many everyday staple goods. Uh, you've heard about a few proposals today. Well, we also have a proposal that um, colleagues and I introduced in December of last year calling for a refundable tax credit for Illinois families uh, making under $150,000 a year. This uh, refundable tax credit for families would uh, provide up to $400 uh, of immediate economic relief to help them uh, put those dollars towards things that are important and priorities for them, places where they felt, felt an additional pinch or places where their budget has an unexpected hole in it. Uh, these are the kind of initiatives that have been talked about in many other states. We've been actively pushing for that kind of relief here in the state of Illinois. And we think it should be a priority in this year's budget making process to think first about Illinois families and Illinois taxpayers and not just think about the state bureaucracy and the state budget.